I am stood on one of the biggest machines I have ever seen, and I'm here with Lander to find out all about it. So, Lander, what is this machine and what is it used for? This is our PMG 14, so this means it's a portal time machine, a gantry one, and you can see we have 40 meters of longitudinal axis here, four meters of traverse, and two meters when the ram is completely extended. So we are, you're right, we are talking quite a big machine here with full area, high area of uh, cutting, cutting uh, space, let's say. This is used when you have big, uh, usually big, big uh, parts, very long ones, and you can mill all the faces, not the one that the, the part is standing on, but you can access five, the other five areas, five, five surfaces for milling purposes. So it's, uh, the versatility is huge. You can access everything with the same setup. So what would a machine this size be used for? What, what are your customers making on this machine? Um, we have many different customers in different areas. The one we have behind is for capital goods. It's a, one of the typical applications for, uh, let's say, the basis of machine tool industry, um, different kind of uh, metallic structures. Here, what matters is the size. When we are talking about big size, we are to when we are talking about different areas of milling, this is the kind of machine we, we are proposing to our customers. And I think I'd like to say, but you have a machine making machines. That's true, that's true. Which is a scary thought, <laughs> but we'll not go into that. Now, obviously we, with a, a machine this size and having a ram that can extend so mm. far, mm. that must come with its problems. Yeah. So yeah. what sort of problems do people face yeah. and how have you fixed them? Yeah, usual problems are vibrations, rigidity, stability. So it's true that there are like, three, four points where we need to focus on for these problems. One for sure, one highlight is the cast iron. You can see the full structure we are where we are now, the columns, the traverse, everything is in cast iron. This means that we have better absorption of vibrations and we have very good stability in both terms, thermal stability and also rigidity. So this is a huge highlight for the machine. Second one, second highlight, highlight is the guiding system. We use linear guiding system. This means precision, less maintenance, the dynamics of the machine, how it moves. Soraluth, I would say, is a pioneer using this kind of linear solutions in these sizes, in these big machines, in heavy duty machines. Now, there's just a couple of points I really want to focus on in this machine. I want to get a bit, I want to get a bit technical. Let's go. Now, you have a system on here to stop chatter yeah. because obviously when your ram is, is slightly extended you're not going to get much chatter but when you've got when you are fully down to the table mm. obviously it hasn't got the stability of the casing around it yeah yeah so how have you fixed that problem for your customers mm. now we have two systems one of them is passive it's always fixed on the guiding damping pads and the second one is the DAS system the DAS it's an active damping system basically the system is reading the vibrations the chatter that you get in the ram and it automatically creates a vibration contrary to the one created in the machine itself so basically what you get with this no vibration you will see in the demo when chatter starts if you clamp on if you click on the the system the chatter will stop so you know all the advantages that come with the with, with with no, having no chatter in the machine. Yeah. But I, I like how you've solved the problem of chatter by giving the ah, head chatter. chatter. Yeah, <laughs> that that's just, it. It seems such a simple solution to counteract yeah. a problem Sounds with easy. the same problem. <laughs> now, the next one and the final point I want to, I want to talk to you about is obviously the, the thermal dynamics of the machine because a machine like this, you're doing very big parts, which means it's going to get warm. Mm -hmm. So how have you cured that in the RAM to make sure you still get the precision and the accuracy mm -hmm. at the end of the day that you would at the start of the day? Regarding the temperature, we have a chiller system that is cooling both the head, the spindle system, and also the motor. Both are uh, cooled down with a chilling system so the temperature can be controlled and we can increase the RPM of the machine up to 6,000, 7,000 RPMs controlling the heat in all the time, all the time. So essentially this machine 
you can do parts as big as that will fit, but you're still going to get the precision and the accuracy yeah. because all the problems you would face have all been cured by your own systems. Mm, exactly. This is how we work. We try to, to figure out in conversation, in talking to our customers, what are their concerns, what do they care about, and we try to give answers to that needs. Not that needs. So the DIS system is one solution, dumping pads, heads, this is all about.